In this video, I'll be showing you how I make my scene hair extensions. In my previous videos, I showed you how I cut and styled my hair, also how I got it pink and green. So in this video, I'm going to dye some hair extensions that match my hair. I ordered my hair extensions off of Amazon and all I did was type in platinum blonde human hair extensions. And then for this one, I went with 16 inches of hair. The first thing I do is brush out the hair, make sure that there are no tangles. And then the second thing is I just straighten it and I try to get all of the hair as straight as possible. Here you could see I typed in blonde human hair extensions on Amazon. And then I just went with the 16 inch length. Um, you could do whatever kind you want. You could do 12, that's the easiest, but it's also shorter. So whatever length you desire, you could do that one. But if you, the longer the hair, the more money it'll be. So I just say start with a 12 and then work your way up depending on how long you want your hair. So I just go really slow with my straightener just so I can make sure it gets super straight. The hair dye I'm using is by Argan Oil One and Only in the shades Pastel Bubblegum and Hot Pink. The hot pink is too dark and the bubblegum is too light. So I'm mixing them together equal parts and just mixing them into a bowl. There's a little puddle of water that came out of the brush when I washed it, so that's what that is. But yeah, I'm just adding both colors into the bowl and mixing them up. And I do have some hot pink left over in this bag, so that's what that is. And then I'm just going to squeeze it in. So you can see they look crazy, but once I mix them, they come out a really super pretty neon pink. And Argan Oil One and Only is my favorite hair dye. I buy it at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's like $11.00. But I get a good tube and it has argan oil so it kind of makes my hair smoother and healthier. I notice it doesn't damage my hair. I'm adding a little bit of conditioner into the hair dye just so that the hair is nice, smooth, and silky and soft. <laughs> For the green, I'm taking some argan oil one and only in the shade Emerald as well as some Manic Panic Electric Lizard. And I'm just mixing those together. For this, the measurement I went with was like two parts electric lizard, one part emerald. I'm dumping out right here some of the mixture I've made and then I'm also going to add in more electric lizard and just a dash of emerald and then mixing that all together. And now for the fun part, we're going to make some green raccoon tails. So what I'm doing is dipping my brush into the green dye and just drawing these little lines. I'm kind of eyeballing where I want them and how far away they should be. If you want, you could place a piece of tape down so that you know where to draw and where you don't want to draw. But me, I'm just doing it freehand. I kind of like the sloppy look. I, I definitely prefer the sloppy look over the perfect, like perfect little raccoon tail. But yeah, everyone's different, so do it how you want. Just draw little lines all the way down the hair until you get to the end. And then you're just going to flip your hair over and repeat it. You want to place the dye where you placed it on the front. So make sure that you do it perfectly lined up. Once it's done, I'm going to put that extension to the side and do the exact same thing to a different extension. Now that I've repeated that, I'm taking some pink hair dye and then I'm going in and filling in all the blonde spaces so that this raccoon tail can alternate between pink and green. I'm making sure to completely saturate the hair and hair dye just so that I know it stains and it sticks. Now flipping the hair extension over and making sure I completely coat the back. And now my pink and green raccoon tail is done. So next, I'm going to do the exact same thing to make a pink one and just leaving in some blonde spaces and not filling them in. This one is my favorite. It came out really cute. For the next hair extension, I'm taking the two clip weft and I wanted to do something completely different, kind of experimental. So I had this heart shaped piece of clay that I sculpted and I am coating it with hair dye and just stamping it onto the hair. This was completely random and an experiment. I wanted to do something different and this came out pretty cute. After stamping in the hearts all the way down the hair, I'm using a Q-tip just to help me fill in all of the hearts and make sure that the hair is completely saturated. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my other two clip weft. So I am completely saturating the heart. I'm painting it, making sure it's completely covered with hair dye. And then I'm going to stamp it on and press super firmly into the hair. And then all of the parts that it didn't work, I'm taking a Q-tip and just filling it in. At the top of the hair extension, you could see a tiny little heart. And that was me just trying to freehand with a Q-tip. And it didn't really work that well. This stamp definitely helped me a lot. Looking back, I shouldn't have done the double hearts, like how they line up and they're right next to each other. Because they end up just looking like a big giant blob. It honestly does look better if you just stamp one heart and give it some room so that you could clearly tell it's a heart. Because some of them you can't tell. 
So the ones I'm doing here at the bottom, they look way better than all of the ones scrunched up at the top. If you don't have a little heart thing to make as a stamp, I will be making a video on how to sculpt this so that you could easily do it on your hair. Now I just flip over the hair extension and I'm filling in the heart. Sometimes it's easier to fill it with a Q-tip. Other times it's easier just to re-stamp it, but you do want to make sure you stamp it exactly how it is on the front just so it's not a weird glob. And now we're gonna make some checkerboard hair extensions. So this was another experiment that I did that just came out freaking amazing. It came out way better than the hearts and I honestly love this hair so much. So what you're gonna do is take a brush, like a hair dyeing brush, and I got this one at Sally's. It works the best because it's square shaped or like rectangular shaped. And all you're gonna do is paint a little square. So I started off in the corners and I kind of did it the length of the brush so that all I had to do is go make a stroke down and then stroke up. So here I'm just drawing squares all over the hair extension, all over the entire one. This is why it's important to make sure your hair is super straight when you straighten it just so that you could draw on designs. So once I filled up the whole extension with the green squares, I'm going in and all of the blonde spots I'm going to fill in with pink. Pink and green make a really ugly color when they mix, so I did my best not to let the colors touch. Now just filling in all of the blonde squares with pink. And I went all the way down, making sure every hair was completely saturated so that it dyes perfectly. Then once you go all the way down, just flip it over like we did all of the rest of the extensions and just make sure you completely coat the back. If all this looks like way too much work for you and you feel like you can't do it, I am selling hair extensions on my shop. You could always message me about custom colors and custom lengths and custom designs. So yeah, and check out my shops for all of the hair extensions I have for sale. And lastly, I'm going to make a leopard print hair extension. So the first thing I did off camera is I just dyed an extension green. So dye it whatever color you want the background to be. And then the second color will be your leopard print. Now taking a Q-tip and dipping that in hair dye, I'm drawing little dots, C's, U's, and circles and O-shapes all over the hair. So this part is fun. You can fill it up as much or as little as you want. I wanted a bunch of details, so I just filled the whole entire thing up. After rinsing it out, I couldn't really see the leopard print, so I ended up having to do this step again. So just redoing the leopard print twice, and then I could finally see it. Now that all of the extensions are done dyeing, I let them sit for around an hour and then I went to the sink and washed them out with super ice cold water, also using shampoo and conditioner and making sure I washed them until I seen all of the dye run out and then it stopped bleeding all over the place. And ice water helps it not bleed and get everywhere, so make sure you don't use any warm water or hot water, make sure it's ice cold. I let the extensions air dry and then I straightened them again and here's the final result. They came out super cute. I'm really excited to do more different styles and different colors and experiment more. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you really should. I post nothing but scene videos. This is me showing you how I clip in the hair extensions that we just made. I do have a video here on my channel showing you exactly how I clip in my hair extensions. Definitely be on the lookout for more colors that I do. I do have some purple and blue hair extensions, rainbow, as well as some black and blonde. So there'll be many videos coming out. So make sure you subscribe to me. Here you can see how the heart extensions came out they do look cool like they definitely add some dimension to your hair um honestly the less hearts the better but yeah the checkerboard came out amazing and i love the raccoon tails they just look good i like doing hair extensions over just dyeing my hair because that way i can move them around you know i could put the checkerboard on the left or i could put it on the right so i feel you definitely have more creative freedom if you do extensions over just dyeing your hair all these designs so that way you can move it around and change it up to whatever you feel like in that mood don't forget to check out my shop i have a bunch of artwork as well as scene hair and scene hair extensions available in my shop the link will be in my bio also thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe peace out